Hi, Entertaining Universe. I wanted to discuss this topic today because it just, it feels like it's that time to start talking about, the, you know, moving from winter clothes-ish to moving to spring and summer clothes. And I'm going to dive into what that means. I mean, I know what it means. And maybe a lot of you may know what that means. But there are some that probably don't know what that means. So, from starting very soon, within the next couple of weeks to a to couple months, it's time to start moving from pajama pants or sweatpants and sweatshirts and, you know, all of that stuff to moving to just wearing t-shirts and tank tops and shorts and basketball shorts and things that, you know, aren't sweatpants and sweatshirts and jeans and pants and stuff like that. It's starting to, for me, I don't know where I'm going to start. Maybe it'll be today, maybe it'll be next week, maybe it'll be the week after next. But I'm going to start moving away from the sweatpants. I'm going to start moving away from the pajama bottoms. You know, start moving away from the sweatshirts and the sweat and the... Um, and the jackets and things like that and start focusing on wearing shorts and basketball shorts and playing shirts and tank tops and all that stuff because it spring is is almost upon us it may not seem like it's upon us but it is almost here and same thing can be said about summer i know i talked about that a lot in the past couple of days and you know that's something I'm not going to wear, you know, baseball caps or anything like that in the spring and summer. And it's going to be time to get rid of all this hair that I have on top of my head. Get it? It's, it's getting to that time where I'm going to have to, I'm not, I'm going to have to. I'm going to get a haircut and not shave it all off, but get rid of a lot of it because that's what's, going to need to happen over the course of the next couple months and because I've, I've been growing this hair out for far too long it's been like three or four months since I've had this hair growing and it's time to you know get it cut so to speak and it's, it's basically all that I'm saying is that it's time to start moving away from winter even though we're still in winter and moving towards you know towards spring and summer and getting used to the hot weather or, or the warmer weather. I'm not saying it's going to be, you know, 70 degrees anytime soon or getting closer to 80 degrees for springtime weather, but it's 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 coming it's going to be quicker, it's going to be here quicker than we know it. And it's start time to start trans um you know, transferring over to a new season. And not having to worry about wearing sweatshirts and pants and and things of that nature. I mean, I still wear I still wear t-shirts all of the time. It's just it's, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna be wearing jackets and zip up sweatshirts and all that stuff. It's gonna be more of in the coming months. I'm not saying right now. And then you know cutting my hair every couple of months or so, not having to worry with all that, that hair. Now, I do want to give you kind of an update on some things that I've, you know, completed or have been trying to complete over the course of the last, you know, couple of weeks and stuff, or a couple of days. So, I've been getting closer and closer to uh, finishing this book. Uh, I'm on chapter 10 of the Battle of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm on page 139, and there's like 300, 400, 500 pages in the book. So, it's going to be interesting. 510 pages before the epilogue, and then there's a couple pages of epilogue. So, so there's that, and then I did that yesterday. Today's already the third day of February. Let's talk about that. February is the shorter month. Because it's only got 28 days, and usually every other month has 30 or 31 days in it. This is the, I know it's only a couple of days shorter, but, you know, 
28 days can go by pretty quickly. And I mean, we've already we've already seen three days happen in 20 in February of 2021. And next Friday, let's talk about this. Next Friday is year nine on on YouTube for me. Next Friday, a week from Friday, I'll have been on YouTube for nine years, and then we'll talk about you know year ten next year. I've been getting, we've been getting closer and closer to a decade on YouTube. Yeah, you heard me say that correctly. A decade on YouTube. Anyways, I'm rambling now, so with that being said, I'm going to say, uh, you guys need to keep it all real, be the best versions, excuse me, best versions of yourself, and stay awesome, or stay the best, yeah, stay who you are, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. Uh, and ciao.